Today is a milestone in the Port of Beaumont's work with the military. The port has unloaded the last military vehicle to leave Iraq following the end of the fighting in December of 2011. Six News anchor Ashley Gaston joins us live from the Port of Beaumont with more. Ashley. Kelly, I'm standing in front of the Ocean Crescent. It's a cargo ship that's transported military equipment from the Port of Beaumont to Iraq six times. Today, crew members worked to unload a portion of the military vehicles, but to servicemen and women, there was one special vehicle aboard, the last military vehicle to leave Iraq. This vehicle has been proven to save many, many lives since it was uh, sent over there. Members of the 842nd Transportation Battalion applauded while they watched a crane lower a military vehicle onto the port of Beaumont. It's like a best friend. It's like a best friend. It's known as an MRAP, or mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle. The vehicle, and many like it, were in Iraq for a number of years and protected service men and women from bombs. All of the exterior components can get blown off, but basically the cab stays intact and soldiers are able to walk away from it. Michael Stone is the battalion sergeant major for the 842nd Transportation Unit. He says the MRAP is one of a kind. This mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle is the final one to leave Iraq when the fighting ended last December. It just gives me a lot of pride and joy to see it. Um, and I feel real good about it. The Department of Defense removed nearly 4 million pieces of equipment from Iraq. Hundreds of those military vehicles are stored here at the Port of Beaumont, awaiting their next mission. Military vehicles, Stone says, help the Army make Iraq a better place. We opened up schools. Uh, I saw little girls go to school when they've never been to school before. I saw power plants open, water plants open. Saw little technical colleges being open, and so I meant, oh yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a lot better when I left than when I got over there. At 7 o'clock this evening, crews will work to remove the remainder of the 150 military vehicles that are aboard the Queen Crescent. Tomorrow morning, the MRAP will head to Fort Hood. We're live in Beaumont. Ashley Gaston, KFTM 6 News.